Hi everybody and welcome back to Dragon Eye Creations. If you're new here, my name is Laurel and I love to create. I create all kinds of things. One of my favorite things to create is gnomes. They just make me happy. <laughs> and this week I am just so happy to share with you guys this one. So precious. I just love this little guy. Look at this little cute sleeping gnome. How cute is this little guy? He's got his little bare feet, his little bums hanging out. So cute. I just love this one so much. I'm so happy to be able to share with you guys exactly how you can make your very own little sleeping cheeky gnome. Let's get started right now. Okay, we're going to start with these child socks I got at Dollarama. And we're just going to fill it with a little bit of polyfill. And I'm going to make a little hole. I just partially filled it so far. And then I'm going to put a few rocks in the middle of the polyfill. I'm just going to use this foam roller to kind of poke them in there. I just want it in the middle so it's not like right on the edge where you can feel it. And then I'm going to finish it off by putting some more polyfill in. And a little more. <laughs> Making sure there's some right in the heel portion of the sock. I know normally we cut that part off, but today we're going to leave it. And then we're going to top it off with an elastic. And then I pulled out the polymer clay and I'm going to make some feet. Just taking off any excess. And they just pop right out of there. I'll leave a link in the description of the mold on Amazon. And then I'm just going to make these little lines in it just to show the bottom of the feet. That way it doesn't look like tops of feet as much, but more the bottoms. And there we have it. And next we're going to work on his bum. So I just grabbed a jar that was about the same size around as our sock. Same curvature anyway, it's not a size I guess. And I just formed this oval shape on there, making a little line in the middle. And then I'm just going to kind of round those edges off so it's not so square looking. And there we have it. I added a little mica powder too just to give them a little rosy cheeks. And now we're going to make some hands. This is just some pink and grey clay that I smushed together. So just make an oval shape. You cut a little slit for a thumb. I cut the tip off of that. And again, just round out your edges a little bit. And as soon as we're done with that, we're going to bake this all at 130 degrees for 30 minutes. So now I grab some foam rollers and we're just going to cut those to the length we need for our legs. I'm just cutting the foam right now. Just kind of scoring it so I know where about I need to cut it later. And then for the arms, I just took another foam roller and cut it right in half. So now I'm just cutting the actual foam all the way around. We're going to take the little plastic tip off, straightening out our wire. Same thing with the arms. Just cut right through that. And then we're going to straighten out the wires again, adding a little glue just to keep those wires in place. Now you're going to choose what fabric you want for your hat, measuring it around the body. And then fold it in half and that gives us our center point. And then we're just going to cut a triangle from there at whatever height you want your hat to be. And you can see I usually kind of make it so it's kind of got rounded edges a little bit. I just like my hat that way, but you can do it whatever way you want. And we're just going to glue our good side to good side here. All the way down, turning it right side out. Make sure it fits. Okay, let's make some trim now. We're just going to take this minky fabric and hot glue down our edges. And we're going to do that all the way down the strip. And then cut off a little point of his hat there, the excess. And then we're going to put that trim all along the edge of his hat. Yep, the hot glue burns are real. 
silicone fingertips help. And now we're just going to do the legs the same fabric as I did the hat. You can do whatever you want. Sometimes I match my hat to my legs. Sometimes I match the legs to the coat. It depends. And then we're just going to trim that off after we've rolled it. And again, trim off the ed end piece from our sock. And now we're going to take another strip of the same material and just fold down one edge and then glue that all the way around the bottom part. Sorry, not all the way around, just the one side. The top don't glue yet. We want that to be loose fitting. We'll glue our edges a bit, pulling them up. So that we can pull his little pants up over his bum. So we're going to use some E6000 and some hot glue around the outside. I always say E6000 is long term hold. Hot glue will help it set quick though so you don't have to stand there and hold it for a long time. And then we're going to just glue down the bottom part too, just tucking it in. And then we're going to fold down the edge of this top piece so we don't see the seam there or the edge piece, whatever. And just tuck it in. Just tucking it as we go. And next we're going to start on his coat. So I'm using this really nice pink minky. I just love this stuff. And we're going to wrap our little guy in that. So make sure it's big enough to go around. Put some hot glue on the underneath part of him. And just press and hold. Again, hot gluing the edge piece so it sticks down. And at the top, we're just going to stick that down all the way top. It's going to be under his hat, so you're not going to see that there anyway. And then again, trim around the bottom of his coat. All the way around, hot gluing that. And now trying to place the legs, trying to get the right shape. It took me a bit. It's kind of like a Z shape almost, I guess is what I would call it. Trying to figure out how those legs will lay. And then we're just going to hot glue those right onto there. Press it really firm. I actually cracked his bum. I pressed too firm. So I might suggest you don't put his bum on until after you attach his legs. Because I had to go take it off. Luckily it wasn't set yet. So I could take it off and uh, rebake it. So now I'm just going to do the same thing with his sleeves of his coat as we did with his legs and we're just going to hot glue the foam rollers and roll those up into our material. Again, just hot gluing and rolling. These foam ro rollers are great, they're pretty versatile for these. And then just attach them to the side where we want them the same way we did our legs again. And now we're going to pick out our beard cutting that. Remember just to cut the backing, you don't want to cut your actual fur. So I just found the middle again and I'm just going to make a triangle kind of shape for his beard. You can make his beard whatever shape you like it. Pulling off the excess. Okay, so we're going to take his beard there and we're going to put it on him sideways today. We want his face looking sideways, so we're going to put that so the point is just kind of above his arm. And then we're going to take his arm and we're going to attach his trim to the bottom of his sleeve there. Same way we did everything else. Just wrap it around some hot glue. Same thing on the other arm. And now we're going to attach the bum again. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue around his pants there to hold them in place. And now we're going to attach his nose. Again, we're going to put a little E6000 in the center and hot glue on the outside. And then just press. With polymer clay, uh, hot glue doesn't hold it by itself. That's why we use the E6000. So for his hat, I just put a little extra stuffing in it just to kind of help it look a little more fluffy. And then we're going to fold down the top of it. 
So we're going to glue the a top, the front part just above his nose there. We want it to stay on his nose and then we'll attach it all the way around. Attaching our feet with E6000 again and hot glue. And we forgot to add trim to his pants, so I'm now going to do that with this this thin gray material. The other one was looked a little too wide. I didn't like it on there, so I used a thinner gray. And now I'm just poking a little hole in the bottom of the polymer hand, so I can use the little bit of wire that's sticking out. And we're going to stick that right in there with a little E6000, and then those are really stuck on, and it really just gets them very attached. And you can poke the little holes right into the polymer with the tool. Okay, so now we're just going to make his cushion. So we're just going to cut out this big rectangle piece of this really fluffy gray material. And I'm just going to glue down one edge, then the second edge. Just folding good side to good side. And now this one I'm only going to glue about three quarters of the way. And then we'll turn it right side out with that little hole we left. Putting our stuffing in there. We don't want it too fluffy. We don't want it too rounded, but... And then we're going to just fold down the edge there so we don't see the seam and put some hot glue there and hold it. And there's his little pillow to lay on. I'm going to make a quick little bow for his hat. And then we're just going to attach that with a little hot glue. I just put a little hot glue underneath too to hold it folded down like that. And then a little bow right on top. And there he is. He is just so precious. I love him so much. Well, there he is, guys. Our little guy is all done. He is just so cute. I love this one. I hope you guys like him as much as I do. Please let me know in the comments what you think and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to check back for more gnome and other magical creations. Thanks again for watching guys. Have yourselves a great week and I'll see you again later this week. Love to all.